few people get my client's attention the way you have. Wendy Bird. I wasn't sure if I should call you. If you can't get what you want with reason, you have to get it with force. Ozark season three, episode two. What Marty was trying to tell Wendy looks to have come to fruition if you stayed and watched the whole entire episode. It really seems as though this season is a gang up of all the ladies of Ozark against Marty and his infinite wisdom. And we're gonna discuss this episode. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to me on Instagram, send me messages on Instagram about whatever good TV shows you're watching, news and stories, I do it all so I can get you a video up here on YouTube. We need to take Navarro down. You lie to your wife. You lie to me. Episode two of season three of the Ozarks starts out with some teacher in a classroom. And y'all know this show is very good about giving you a whole lot of excitement within the first five minutes. No different from this episode. We see a teacher, it looks like he's teaching English. And then a student pulls out a cell phone and they really weren't clear of what was on that phone. But whatever was on that phone sent the teacher into a rage. He snatched up everybody's cell phone, threw them into a bend outside with the lawn guy, then persisted beating up the lawn guy. We later find out this is Wendy's brother, but we also are still wondering what caused this. I think it's PTSD, something triggered him. And now the state of North Carolina, which is where he was teaching, has a warrant out for his arrest. Where does he go? Of course, we all knew he was gonna wind up down in the Ozarks with Wendy. And as we get into the main story for this particular episode, Marty is not really clear that Wendy is going behind his back trying to secure this deal with Navarro. And in essence, give Navarro a legit stream of income and a a trust fund and get them out the game. And it starts out with that beef going on as Wendy is discussing with her daughter, Charlotte, who is the secretary for the organization, what they're trying to do. Then we later see Marty come in and Marty comes in because he's got to go with Wendy to meet the casino owners that have the other riverboat. Because part of Wendy's plan to infiltrate and get this plan going for Navarro and Helen is that they've got to buy out another casino boat and this casino boat couple is in trouble. So they try to buy it out, they offer them a great deal. Wendy splits up with the wife, Marty splits up with the husband. Marty tells the husband, whatever, whatever, sweet nothings in his ear. Husband says, you know, don't ever put your pleasure on the back burner, something to that effect. And Marty uses that against them to get him out of buying it. And so what does Wendy do? Wendy knew that Marty had something to do with that. So she winds up contacting Helen, getting some more money, and Helen calls her and is like, look, I can just meet you up there. We can negotiate the deal. They go back to this casino boat and they negotiate a deal and they've got the owners about to buy. So now you know Helen and Wendy, they're feeling like they're gonna get this deal done. But speaking of Helen, in the beginning, Wendy showed the house that she got for Helen. Helen is moving out there, it's the summertime. But Helen has a drama going on with her baby daddy. The baby daddy is upset that she came a couple of days early to get the kids and is gonna keep them through the summer. So he's about to tie her up in litigation. And did you guys hear the Amber Alert that was going on on the phone? That was the baby daddy putting the Amber Alert out for his kids. And we'll come back to this at the end of this review, but Helen took care of that problem. Now back into the story. So now the brother has shown up. He needs to stay with Wendy and the crew to take care of his business. He's got a bench one in North Carolina. Marty wants him to go home. He's like, hell to the no, I can't go back. I'm gonna be out your hair. Next thing we see is Marty goes and contacts the daddy of Tommy. In this, this show, he's, the actor is Joseph Secure. He goes and contacts that daddy to say, look, man, you know, I need you to use your muscle to blow up the competition's boat because the bargaining chip for the deal that Wendy and Helen put together is based on what the competition is doing. Well, Tommy, in true Tommy form, 
go to the competition's boat, blows it up, and now that couple calls Wendy, tells her, we're not gonna do this deal, why should we? We don't have to do this deal with you anymore because the competition has been blown out the water, literally. So now Wendy is like on a hot trail to figure out what the hell happened. She knows Marty has something to do with it. Helen knows that Marty has something to do with it. And now Helen is getting pissed off because she answers directly to Navarro. Navarro is having a hard time. Did y'all see the dead body show up at his front door? And he's calling Wendy, talking about premonitions he's having late at night and his, um, his butler's teeth is falling out and then he winds up killing the butler. He's worried and he wants this plan to happen because this drug war in the background is getting thick and he wants to have a refuge for his kids to have access to money that is legit. So he wants this thing to go through. Helen feeling the pressure. She's been waterboarded already by his crew. She's feeling the pressure. She's telling Marty, look, I don't care what's going on with you and your you and your wife, you got to fix this. We got to get this going. And let's talk about Ruth because she plays a role in this too. Early on in this episode, Ruth tells Marty, look, we need to be protecting our casino from dudes that come in with their phones and have all this technology and online algorithms that can cheat the system. Marty's basically like, nah, I don't pay you, this. I don't pay you for that. Um, we want to solve problems, get out of my face. So what Ruth has done to help Wendy without telling Marty is Ruth has figured out a way to take that same technology she was speaking of and go and be proactive by going and using this on the competition, which is the people that Wendy and Helen want to buy the boat. She decides, why don't we take this technology, do it to them and make them buy out. And Wendy was cheesing like a Cheshire cat that had a steak. She, they done that, they executed that together and was making these people lose $200,000 an hour, forcing them to wind up having to come back and sell them the casino boat, fulfilling the plan that is gonna go on with Wendy, Navarro, and Helen. There were some other little things that happened in this episode. You did see Charlotte is getting close to Helen's daughter and you saw Wendy's brother is taking out the son Jonah and showing him he needs to be surveilling people and teaches this little boy to surveil women laying around. And you kept seeing this recurring thing where the drone kept crashing. And I think that was symbolic of the way all these lies within one house are crashing or gonna continue to tumble down on each other. And so ladies and gentlemen, I think this was a great, great episode. And at the very end, when they wind up buying the other casino, you saw the FBI come in and they had all the subpoenas and all the warrants they need to now be on top of Marty's ass for the next month when he tried to warn Wendy, we don't need this in our life right now. We need to just be chilling out, not doing anything, but nobody ever wants to listen to Marty. And now he's gonna have to try to figure out how to get them out of this hell hole that they are stuck in. So guys, leave me all your comments about Ozark Season three, episode two, really, really good episode. And I wanna know what was it that I've missed that you guys thought was significant to the review. And that's gonna do it for this review. Don't forget to like my video, please comment, subscribe, go get yourself that life game. And until that next sexy as hell Ozark review coming in about a day or two, I'll see you.